Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm showing these really cute pens that I got from Wish. I have ordered a few things from Wish, we're still waiting for most of them to come through. And I thought I would just show you these really adorable little pens. They're shaped like flowers, they all write really well. And I'm pretty sure they cost maybe about $2 and then $2 shipping. I kind of think of Wish items as costing about $5 each because they're all about $2 or $2.50 and then about 2 bucks shipping. These are also some things I got from Wish. These are little dinosaur eggs and if you put them in water then they will expand and become little cute dinosaurs. So there's a bunch of different little dinosaurs in there as you can see. I'm just showing you a few of them. They're kind of like a spongy material and as the spongy material absorbs water they become bigger and bigger. I do have some bigger ones at the bottom. Let me just fish those guys out to show you. So I've got a couple of bit bigger ones. They do take quite a while. So I put these in the water, I think it was on Monday and it's now Wednesday and the little ones are still quite small. The big ones I did over the weekend and they've been in there for a good five days and that's why they're quite squishy squishy as you can see. And they're kind of like a sponge. So they absorb lots and lots of water and then they become bigger and bigger as you can see. So we'll pop those ones back in the water so they can get a bit larger and I'm just going to show you these ones a bit more close up because they're quite squishy squishy and I thought that might be nice. So squishy squishy but they do leave a weird residue all over your hand which can be kind of disgusting. So these are the two little spongy dinosaurs. You didn't think you were going to get away without a Halloween video. Stay tuned for a spooky tutorial. Now let's get into what this video is really about. What I wanted to do is a little bit of a Halloween themed video. Now in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own feather nib. So all you need is a large feather. I'm just showing you a bit of a drawing of one. Any feather with that nice central kind of spine that's quite strong and not bendy will work. And you just need to make sure that it's got a clean enough end and enough space to be able to cut this little sort of nib into it. So I've got these feathers from a craft store. I believe they're turkey feathers. I don't know if they're fake feathers or not. I can't tell you. I tried to look it up. But these are quite pretty feathers. And as you can see on this one here, I have used a pair of scissors and I have cut a little nib into the end of it and it works really well. It absorbs up the ink. It will um, write for a little while before you have to dip it back in. So let's put that one to the side and I will show you how to make your very own. So get yourself a feather. You don't need to trim anything, but you can trim off those extra hairs if you want. Grab yourself a pair of scissors, always cut away from yourself and cut diagonally down the left side and then neaten that up and make sure you've got it nice and neat and then diagonally to the right side. Just be real careful of your fingers. Once you've got a nice point, you can trim off the back of it so you've just got a little point on one side and then do a little slit right up the center. So I will draw sort of a picture of what I am doing so that you can see. It is a little bit hard to see. So if you have sort of the larger point here, you need to cut the left and the right and then cut a slit in the center like this and then a cut down the middle. Once you've done that, it will pick up ink. If you don't have ink, you can mix acrylic paint with water and it will make a pretty good ink. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a spooky day.